What is it? It's a vermouth. 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 So can I take a guess? Is it a bourbon? Fortified wine. So we're having wine! Woo! Did you know we were sophisticated enough for wine? Ooh, look at us. We're going to a wine tasting oh, party. I should have worn my tuxedo. Vermouth's good. I like vermouth. It's one of those things that like you probably have cocktails with vermouth in it. Okay. But I feel like as many people don't drink on its own. That's how you say it for moose. For moose. Moose. Is it made out of moose juice? Moose juice. That moose does juice. not sound it appetizing. Moose. moose. <laughs> and then ferment it. Oh, I got a sorry. Sorry, Colin. <laughs> Next he's going to bring like a little mountain Do of we get grapes? Where are our grapes? Oh. Finvano, Vermut Bianco. Oh, is it Italian? Oh, no. Mm. Oh, that smells like regret already. Herbs, spices, and wine that give the unique, a bittersweet flavor. Oh, it's bittersweet. Oh, well, sharp I, I detect hints of. Oh, sharp tons of bullshit. And oak. Even I would probably disagree with myself on this, but I feel like vermouth is like the, the gin of wines. Cheers, okay. Paddy. Cheek gin. Oh, that's not like anything what I was expecting it to be. That's nice. That's actually lovely. This yeah, is lovely! It's great. It doesn't yeah. taste. It's that's 17 percent. 17? 15. 15. Oh, very fruity. It starts sweet, but then it's got oh. a bit of a... Yeah. Mm. Jeez, you could lash that back, no problem. That's worrying. It feels like a very old-fashioned drink. Yes. It's not as wet as I'd like it, but some people like the dryness, I think, you know? If it was a little bit more syrupy, it would be a little bit like Buckfast. It is syrupy, though. I'm glad it's you said that. It's a little it bit syrupy. syrupy. Like, this is the type of thing that I'm sure you know, James Bond drank on his own. When he wasn't having a martini, he'd just like have a glass of vermouth. There's probably people in Italy now screaming at us, like doing the whole, oh. This is great. Get that's, that's a good wine. Stronger than regular wine. Is go. that why it's fortified? Because it's stronger? The dry mm. vermouth is actually pretty good. I think I've just haven't had that many dry vermouths that I liked. Lovely taste. I could sit there in the nip in my balcony in Madrid and drink this happily till yeah. all hours in the morning. It tastes almost like a fruit juice. Mm. Like you wouldn't even know it was alcoholic and it's 15%. I'd say that'd make a nice martini. If I like martinis, I don't. It would definitely be nice with something else. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, what? Rosso. Rosso, like uh, this is a red fortified wine, is it? Now this is what you see in the bar and I've seen this many a times. I've never tried it. You were saying the martini thing earlier. Oh wait, so Marti the brown martini is yeah. removed. Mm -hmm. It says Rossi up here and it says Rosso down there. Ah, Sherlock. Sure That's a bottle that like, I haven't changed in 120 years because this is me. And you fucking love it, now touch me. Someone came to a house party when I was in college with a bottle of this. Just to drink on its own? Yeah. Were they 70? Once again, it's very subtle. Very subtle. Whoa, I've never tasted anything like this now. No, no, no. It's just not herby or spicy enough. So there's a slight pinch. A slight little like, bit of alcohol, but you'd, you'd never know it was alcohol. What the fuck is this? I can't describe the taste, Colin. Flat. Oh my God, that's disgusting. It's a very that, flat vermouth. That is horrific. It smells stronger than it tastes. Mm. Isn't that bonkers? Because it doesn't taste like it smells. It smells very herby, but it doesn't taste very herby. It's disrespectful. It is. Disrespected me, and you know what? I'm not gonna thank for it. <laughs> I'd be able to drink more of this. Yeah. But it's still nice, it's lovely. They're all lovely. Like, it's, this is a lovely experience, this is Sean. A great shape, I'm getting like pizza tones off this, like sweet, yeah. sweet, very sweet pizza tones. Yeah. It's an entry level vermouth. It gets people into it. It was my first vermouth. I've gone on to bigger and better things since then. I, if I drank that, I wouldn't try again. Oh, it's 15%. Oh, when you take a big gulp. Oh. Mm. Those basic kicks there. These people at home, they don't need to drink this because we've told them what they it's like. They can taste it right now. They're yeah. looking at this video going, oh, I, I know what they're talking about. Yeah. It's, and I've never even tried it. It's just like drinking a pizza. David Blaine, top that. We did it. We did. Vermouth. This one is another Bianco. Bianco. This is it. This is this is the trademark that I know. So I think I've established that I'm not the hugest fan of Martini as a brand, which is one of the most pretentious things I've ever said, and that's saying something. <laughs> it's in the shelf unit, in the bar, in the pub, mm -hmm. when we used to be able to go to them to be up there. And that's the, the one unit. you've seen. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say Bianco is the Italian for white. Oh, yeah. yeah again, like it just... Actually, that smells very familiar. It does have a but herby. It smell like a drink. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yep, that's it. That mm -hmm. is it. Definitely tamer than the previous. Oh. Ooh, no. 
No. Oh, that was chilled. Ooh. Ooh. That was really chilled. Ooh. Doesn't taste like wine. No, it doesn't. I think the fact that it's called fortified wine means that we're like, so it's like stronger wine. But it doesn't not taste like wine either. It's more bitter than the first one. Oh, I hate this. I hate it. The first one definitely was sweetest. The second one was a little bit more heartier. This one is like they had a baby and made that. We start with the Cinzano and that was great. Cinzano was lovely. Yeah. I will, uh, after tasting these, yeah, Cinzano is pretty good. It's halfway between like a wine and a gin. It feels like when they're making this, they chop up a few trees and a few bushes and throw it in with grapes. It's a sipping drink more so than a guzzling drink. Yeah. Yet here we are. And yet here I am guzzling it. I swear it. we've never been given alcohol before in our lives. <laughs> it's a bit better than the last yeah. one, but this is still pretty shite. Gordon Ramsay would enjoy a glass of this at home. I fucking enjoy this fucking wine, you <laughs> mug. Back to the L red variant here. This is a redder red. Ah, do bonnet. Yeah, this is a deep red. The other red was a brownie red. This red says I want to make a love red. It's red again. Oh no, this is something different from Martini. It's... Oh, did you smell that? No, not Don't yet. Don't smell it. Don't smell okay. Don't smell it. Okay, I won't, I won't smell that it. That smells almost kind of like figgy. Uh, no. Uh. This is a pre-sex drink right now, I think. Want to come back for a coffee? Oh, I have some vermouth there. Don't yeah, sip a paddy, just drink it. Because I have a feeling it's the same thing where okay. they smell stronger well, than look, they Let's taste. appreciate the bottle first. There's a cat on it. Oh, you're going for mm -hmm. it, okay. Look, it's better than the martinis. Yeah, I think it has more distinct flavor than like the martinis. I love that. What the, that, that's lovely. That's the nicest one so far. Blackcurrant, my waddy, mixed with a bit of gin. More whiny, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, red whiny. It's fruity, it's yeah. red whiny. Yeah, it's, um, it's more on the verge of red whiny. Yeah, it, it tastes more red whiny than the last red vermouth. As a sweet vermouth fan, I'd say I'd still prefer the Cinzano. Oh. Uh. No. The nicest it, dark one now so far, yeah. No, this is really good. This I is could a, see what percentage is that one? It's 14.8. Yeah. So we're oh, missing no, no. the 0.2%. I'm gonna down the whole lot like a true Irish man. None of this sipping anymore. <laughs> None of this sippy, sippy, sippy. I always use this reference and I think it suits very well. Right in the after session. Mm -hmm. You know, I've nothing but this. You'll drink it. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll hate yourself, but you'll drink it. Never a red wine drinker. No. But I think this may have converted This me. is a good alternative, though. Do you want to go on the journey with me? Let's drink Vermont how it's never supposed to be drank. <laughs> Un, deux, <laughs> toi. <laughs> Okay. Deadly. Final vermouse. Oh, it's martini. Martini extra dry. Oh. Guys, look. I love the green bottle. Extra dry. Oh, extra oh. dry. And it says le aperitivo. All right, do you want me to ruin this before for you before you even smell it? Okay. Garden peas. No. Remember the London dry gin in the advent calendar? The the drier it was, the worse it was. Right, what do we think it's going to be like if it's extra dry? Oh, see, I like my drink wet. I don't this... want to be gasping for another drink while I'm drinking a drink. Yeah, yeah. no, 100%. That smells like, like garden frozen garden peas. peas. <laughs> oh my God, that tastes um, vinegary. You feel fancy after drinking that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to eat Ferrero Rocher's and fucking stick on classical music in the nip. It tastes exactly like peas. It's like if you cooked peas in wine. This looks like, oh, yeah. I'm going oh to really spice up your night. And this is like, ah, oh, hello. Oh my God. You made that go away. Are you a magician? Because you made it disappear. It's very much like wine wine. It's very sharp. It's very bitter. That's horrific. It's pea juice. The, the comment section is going to be tons of angry Italians going, what the fuck do they mean with pea juice? Very similar to white wine. It's a little bit sharp. Mm. Dry. Dry. But I stand by my statement. Yeah. It tastes like pea juice. But this one is very sharp, like it gets you in the back of the throat. Yeah, it's nicer. It's nicer. Nicer? If you had tasted that independent of me saying anything, do you think you would have gotten the peas? The pea comment. I just can't get it out of my head now. Yeah, there's a lot of penis to this. <laughs> Have you ever seen anybody going up to the bar and being like, yeah, give me a vermouth? Never once in my life. No, no. It's like you ride a horse but you wouldn't ride a moose. That's, those are words to live by, folks. I expected so much nicer. You painted me a lovely picture. No disrespect to the to the crew at Tri Channel, but like they picked some shit for a moose. I want to mix every single one of them with something. Yes, they make great ingredients. Can we please do a Tri mixes all of those with something? But like the thing is, I'd be like, I'll have one of those and then I'll move on to something that I really like. Same. Thanks for watching the Tri Channel. This is me, Jamie's alter ego. Birdie. And this is Seamus' alter ego, Harry, like, 
the video and subscribe. Hit, Hit the, the video. notification bell and just have a load of Vermont. I don't know where this came from. But we'll batter you. And sorry for not liking it as much as we probably should.